Okay, this lesson is on multiplicities, and before we start um, learning about them, let's just realize there are two different kinds of multiplicities. You're going to have even multiplicities, and you're going to have odd multiplicities. They look and behave a little differently. So let's first explore the even ones. Let's get out our graphing calculator, um, or you can just watch mine here. Um, I have graphed three different functions. I've graphed a function that has a 0 at 1 and given it a power of 2. And I've graphed a function that has also a 0 at 1 and given it a power of 4. And then I've also graphed um, the same 0 at 1 and given it a power of 6. And Let's just press the graph button here and maybe it'll start. Okay, so there's the first one, there's the second one, and there's the third one. And if that goes too fast for you, just simply do that on your own calculator. And you'll notice that the window, look here how I've really zoomed in, so to speak, at x equals 1. So I'm really seeing what's happening there. Notice how as the multiplicity increases, what you get is a more flattening out at x equals 1. And again, you could do that by um, just graphing each one of these separately and then looking at them. And, or you could graph them you know, all together and look at them. So first thing we should notice is when we um, graph even multiplicities, they get, um, I guess I call them fatter or you can call them wider, fatter, wider. Notice that none of them cross the x-axis. So they didn't cross the x-axis. x-axis. There we go. Axis. Okay, so let's look at odd ones a minute. All right, so I'm going to take and I'm going to change um, change these powers. And let's let this one be a, a 1. And then let's let, let this one be a 3. And then let's let this one be a 5. And again, you could do this on your own calculator. Okay, And then let's graph and see what happens here. So there's the degree 1, there's the degree 3, and there's the degree 5. So what is happening is, it's first of all, it's crossing the x-axis. Okay, You could do that again with your calculator. It's crossing the x-axis. All of them cross the x-axis, but if you noticed as your powers increased, it kind of flattened out a little bit as it crossed. And that's what we consider an odd multiplicity. So the last one that we had graphed there, that was to the fifth power. So if I were to write that out in factored form, you know, you've got an x minus 1, x minus 1, x minus 1. They're all the same. This is what makes a multiplicity. All of those things are the same. And then, of course, we could just write it like this. Only one zero. It's just a multiplicity. And the other day when we were talking about how some of these are hidden, this is one of the ways they're hidden. They're hidden with multiplicities. All right, so let's take a look at um, a graph such as this. So I notice that I have a 0 here at negative 1. So if I wanted to make the fully factored form, I have a 0 at negative 1. Well, I'm not done because this is just a linear term. This is x to degree 1. You know by the end behavior, both are pointing up in the same direction, so it's got to be an even degree, 2, 4, 6. 
so on, okay? So it can't be an odd degree. So this has to have a power up here. That's got to be a 2 or a 4 or a 6. And the way that we normally write this, or the way we normally think of this, is um, a minimum degree. So that could easily be a 2. Um, it would be hard to tell just by looking this, looking at it if it was a 4, but it has to at least have a 2. So we say it has a minimum degree of 2 because there is a multiplicity there. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, so here's an example. I've got an x intercept at negative 3, another one at negative 1, and another one at 2. So there's three x-intercepts. So when I try to determine the degree, well, I get three x-intercepts, so do I think it's a degree 3? Well, no, I don't, because first of all, the end behavior is in the same direction. So therefore, it's got to be an even. It's got to be a 2, a 4, a 6, or so on. So one of these is going to be a multiplicity, and maybe you can already tell it's this one right here. But let's first start by making our factored form. So I have an x plus 3 and an x plus 1 and an x minus 2. So there's my three x-intercepts. One of them has to be a multiplicity because I have to have a minimum degree of 4. I've got 1, 2, 3 turning points and behaviors in the same direction, so it's got to be 4. Well, look at this 0 right here at negative 3. See how it kind of shoots right through there? So that's not a multiple. And look here at 2. Do you see how the, the graph kind of shoots right through there? Well, this is a multiplicity right here. The graph comes up, touches the x-axis, and bounces off. So that's a multiplicity. And that occurred at negative 1. So therefore, that's an even multiplicity. And again, don't get your even multiplicities confused with your even degrees, OK? So this is an even multiplicity. And then, of course, the whole um, degree of the polynomial is even because it's a degree 4. But again, don't confuse your degree of your polynomial with your degree of your multiplicities. Let's look at one more. All right, so here's another one. And when I look at this, I see I've got a 0 at negative 3 and another 0 at 2. So I can make my factors x plus 3 x minus 2. All right, but obviously, this is not a degree 2. First of all, the end behavior is showing me that it's an opposite direction, so that's got to be an odd polynomial, either a 3, 5, 7, or so forth. Let's look at each of the zeros individually. Look at this one right here. The graph comes down touches and bounces off, so this one is at least a degree 2. So let's go ahead and put a 2 there for now. Then let's look at this multiplicity here. So you see how the graph comes up and it kind of flattens out a bit and then it continues on. So this is obviously not a degree 1, this particular 0 right here. So let's see if it's a degree five or degree 3. OK, so that would be a degree 3. And let's see if this makes sense. So I have a degree, a 0 multiplicity of 3, a 0 multiplicity of 2. All together, that's a degree of 5. Let's see if that makes sense. So 5 certainly fits in with our end behavior. Let's see the turning points. Well, 1 or so. 2, 3, um, so I see 3. Uh, this is questionable whether this is 1 or more turning points, um, but it's definitely 1. So then I've got 1, 2, 3 turning points. 3 plus 1 is 4. You know this can't be a polynomial of degree 4 because of the end behavior. So it's got to be a minimum degree of 5. So that means that these particular multiplicities must be correct.
This ends our lesson on multiplicities.